There's another box! <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is going to be like one another one of those quick little videos because once again I find myself, it's 10 o'clock at night, I got work tomorrow, and I don't have a video to post up tomorrow. So I am here, gonna show you what I'm gonna install today. This is an important step, I mean it can be avoided, but I am not gonna avoid it because I got Chase Bays power steering kit. The reason I say it can be avoided is because you don't really need power steering. I could just go manual steering, but since I'm going to daily drive this car, it's a little tough to like park and you know when you're stopped and you got to like muscle those turns. You got to find time to work out, but I don't have time to work out if I'm always working on the car. So, this kit has a lot of new lines, low pressure lines, high pressure lines, a lot of bubble wrap. It's got, oh yeah, I got a power steering cooler right here. Look at that. Looking good, looking good. All right, I like it. It feels so good. So nice. Oh, I remember I did open this package once. It's like a Subway sandwich. All right, got that. And a lot more unnecessary bubble wrap. I got a bracket in here. And I got a reservoir for the power steering fluid. Um, you can use the stock reservoir on the 240s, but they are known to leak even without a swap, just like regular with a KA motor, SR motor, whatever. They're just, they leak a lot down here. So I was like, eh, I might as well just buy the kit with this. You know, it's not that much more money. So I am going to start installing parts. I'm not gonna install the cooler yet because I don't have my bumper installed. I have to wait to install the bumper so I can see exactly where the best placement is for this to keep my power steering cool. Was this needed? I don't really know. I'm not sure if I needed a power steering cooler because stock, stock cars don't have a cooler, right? Like when OEM from the factory. Their cooler is this. See this line going around? That is technically the factory cooler. Wind hits it, it's aluminum, aluminum naturally stays cool, it dissipates heat very well. So uh, I'm going to eliminate that line, I'm going to toss it to the trash, give me a little bit more room for my oil pan, and I decided to get this. Again, I don't really know if it's needed, maybe I want a little overboard getting it. But, you know, better safe then sorry, right? At least I know my power steering won't ever get overheated and my pump will get ruined and I don't have to replace the pump. But I'm assuming this is gonna go somewhere like here-ish, like that, maybe up here. I think that's where my bumper has an opening. It's gonna go right in front of my oil cooler. I'm assuming is probably the best bet. Here is my oil cooler right here. And then I think this will probably go right in front like this. And I think we'll be uh, golden boys and girls. So yeah. Now let's just get started. Um, I'm gonna put this, it's gonna be a lot of time lapse because it's just replacing lines. The lines that you see, you're gonna replace them. So here we go. Okay, so the system is completely disconnected from this side to this side. These were disconnected from a previous video because I did put a new rack and pinion. If you guys didn't see that video, go right up there. Um, I also installed a little bit longer inner tie rods so I can get a better turning radius. So this is totally loose. I do see, the, I do see that there is a sensor here. I don't know what the sensor is for. Maybe it's power steering pressure sensor? I don't know. Well, I'm removing it. Uh, I don't know if I need it. I hope not. And now, um, let's take this out. Well, there it is. The entire power steering system is off. Minus the pump. The pump is right here on the new one. 
So this is the low pressure side and high pressure. Uh, yep, low pressure, high pressure. So if we go over here, I'm going to install the new reservoir, the stock area with the bracket that came with the kit, and here's the low pressure and here's the high pressure. And then these lines go to the uh, oil cooler, uh, not that oil cooler, the power steering cooler, which I'm gonna show you guys how to hook it up because I gotta figure it out. Well, there you have it, reservoir is on. It was simple enough. Just put the brackets in the two original holes. I already put the low pressure line. You know, this eventually will get twisted onto the uh, power steering pump. Now I am going to move on over to the high pressure line going from uh, the rack and pinion to the power steering pump. This goes to the bottom side uh, down here, if I'm not mistaken, yep. Because they are two different sizes. This high pressure line is smaller. You can see this is smaller than right here. You can see the two different sizes. So you can't really mess that up. So I'm gonna put them in just like this, right in there. There we go, the two lines are on the rack and pinion. You can't mess it up because the stainless steel fittings were already on the lines. Chase Base was kind enough to do that. That way, and they're two different sizes, that way you cannot mess up. You know the exact hose and side to go on here. So these two are going to stay free for now. This one is the only different looking one. This is the high pressure line to the power steering pump. Like I said before, the thick one is a low pressure line to the power steering pump. And then this line, without an oil cooler, would go right onto here, but I have an oil cooler, so this, We'll go out there to the oil cooler. And now I have this extra line. They're both 90s on both sides. So it does not matter which side goes to the oil cooler. They're both, uh, let's see, dash six AN lines. You can tell by the size. So one side goes out there, right out there. This side goes right on to here. It's a little tough with the left hand. Let me try righty. I think righty's better. I am a righty. And that is a fact. Much easier. Well, this goes on. Then I'm gonna tighten that with aluminum. You never want to moor these up using steel. So, boom. Power steering is complete. It's that easy. Let me jump out of the engine bay. Ugh. Look at that, easy enough. Cooler, boop, right there. Look at that thing. That was super simple. I just wanna thank you Chase Base for making this an easy install. Um, can't really ask for more. Look at that. That looks complicated. I don't know what's going on there. Here's my oil cooler. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No power steering problems whatsoever going on here. No leaks, no nothing. So that's it guys. It is as easy as that to install the power steering kit for uh, two JZs and two forties. Um, again, thanks guys for watching. I told you this is gonna be super quick. You know what? I'm sure you guys wanna see this. Boom, look at that. You just can't get enough of this. I just love it. I think it looks great. Again, guys, thanks for sticking around watching. Remember, go down and subscribe. Hit that post notification. Give me a like too while you're at it. Why not? You know, it kind of feels good seeing all those little thumbs up all over the place. Um, yeah, well, to be continued. Remember, work hard, stay humble.